you know, away they go. Well, the handles are another great feature, but there's even something that's even neater about the APQS machine. You know, I know you're, you've been a hand quilter. You've oh, been yeah, the machine I, quilter for so yeah. many years. Yeah, Mary was, was good quilter. at one time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 11 <laughs> stitches to the inch. That's mm -hmm. great. Yep. Well, did you ever measure how many yards it took to put into a quilt? I know many quilters do. No, no, but I, yes, I've heard about that. Heard I, I always think you just go by empty spools, just like beer cans or something, you know, <laughs> like how many? You know, that's one way to keep track. But I mean, you know, with hand quilting, it, you know, a lot of it you throw away. But anyway, well, that's, that's beside true. the point. But that's yes, true. you could keep track. I've, I found many quilters that I know who have done hand quilting like to figure out how many yards of thread went into mm -hmm. that. I got to thinking, with my long arm machine, how many stitches would I typically put into a quilt? So it's not my best feature, but I did a little math. I had to get okay. the calculator yeah. out. Oh, this would be interesting. Yeah. It's going to be really an amazing number. I figured that if I took a queen size quilt mm -hmm. and I set my stitch length to 12 stitches per inch, an average mm -hmm. number, mm -hmm. and if I did cross hatching on that quilt, I could use the automatic channel locks to do vertical mm -hmm. and horizontal lines. If I put those lines one inch apart, how many stitches do you think I'd put in that quilt? Hmm. 30,000? I was going to, in the many thousands. Many thousands, exactly. Yeah. My needle would enter and exit that fabric on one quilt almost a half million times. Ooh, I was way short at Wow. That is incredible. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's a lot of stitching. Well, if I were hand quilting, I would not want to make a half a million <laughs> stitches <laughs> in any I'd go for the bigger stitches. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, that's just like, mm, not going there. You'd rather know the yards of thread. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the neat thing about that is the APQS machine right here inside the needle bar has special bushings. They're made out of sintered bronze and they're impregnated with a very high quality oil. That oil makes sure that there's no friction. Can you imagine a normal bushing inside there with oh. 500,000 stitches on one quilt? How quickly those are going to wear out? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. And if you'd have to oil them, what a mess that would be. Well, you know, that's oh, yeah. just one more example of the really high quality of workmanship and materials and really thinking that have gone right. to making this. So issue. that our product, the thing we love, our passion, our quilt, is going to turn out the best it possibly can. They've done all that engineering for us. And it makes quilting oh, yeah. fun. You know, it, it makes does. working on the machine fun. If you're fighting your equipment, it's not fun. No. If I have to stop and think about what I have to do to take care to make it ready, I'm not going to enjoy quilting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I can step down at the beginning of the day, bring up my bobbin thread, and get going. It's great. Would you like to see some things oh, that we've yeah. been doing? Yes, yes. I always love to watch you. I great. learned so many things by watching other people. And people who really know what they're doing right. more than we do. We're, 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 we're good. We, we're, we're learning. Yeah. You know, we're getting better all the time. Yeah. And it's, it's like anything else. You know, practice makes perfect. And you've been having this affair for 14 years. <laughs> You'd think yeah. that that would make you perfect. You should be but, good yeah. by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have been at it for 14 years, but I still learn something new every mm -hmm. day. All of us quilters love to share ideas with each other. And, that, and I think that's what makes it special. We love to talk with each other about quilting. The quilts that I brought today are going to showcase some special features. I love to do traditional style quilts. I know Marianne mm -hmm. likes traditional style things. Mm -hmm. You do too, Liz. And I also like to play with some things that are more fun. I've been experimenting with what I like to call funky feathers. I know you oh. even put out a book on mm -hmm. feather feathers, quilting. Yeah. They weren't oh. funky. They were normal. But, you know, I've done some funky feathers. <laughs> I have. I've done some funky feathers. I've had feather a few that turned out that, that way. Did, no, no. But, it, yeah. you know, there, there's a contemporary angle to them. That's well, show right. us a funky feather. I'm going to show you a funky feather. I found that a lot of times uh, we quilters have made a quilt for guys. And it's very difficult to put something on there that is a masculine design in nature. So I've been playing around with some designs that really could still base itself on a feather but have a more masculine flair to them. Hmm. Awesome. Sound good? Cool. Yeah. 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 Good. I'm going to use the single stitch feature on the APQS machine to bring my bobbin thread up mm -hmm. to the top of the quilt. I gave and it a I little found that's a good thing to remember to yeah. do. <laughs> or you get, you know, the little nasty, <coughs> like goobers. on any yeah. sewing machine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very much so. You don't want to crawl around on the quilt no. and have to trim all those mm -hmm. nasty threads. I'm going to hold on to those two little tails and using that single stitch feature, take a couple of tacking stitches. You don't want to do that at home too, don't you? Mm -hmm. You don't want mm -hmm. that thread to pull out. And that secures your beginning mm -hmm. thread. Mm -hmm. That's going to make sure it's not going to come out. But if you ever wondered if you'd done enough stitches, simply separate those two tails oh. and give each one a tug. If oh, either one good. keeps on going, it's not locked yet. And the, you did the tacking with the yellow button, right? I sure yeah. did. Okay, because sometimes I use the blue and just go a little fast if it's on an area that's okay. You know? Oh, sure. Yeah. 
that would work. So there's a, it's like anything. There's more than one way to get what you need. But now I'm going to do it this way because I think it's better. Hey, you won't have quite so much thread laying yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. have a place for these, or would you just, just do that? Yeah, that we we do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usually I just put them on my pants or my shirt. No, you we know. transfer them from my look pants like to her. Yeah. Oh, okay, you transfer them yeah, back yeah, and forth. Where they go? All right. We'll have more we'll of We'll get those. the next one. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, funky feathers. I'm going to put on the stitch regulator. And there's this little light that's flashing to remind me that I've turned that on. It's a safety feature. I'm going to start with quilting a vein for this funky feather. You see how easily it moves. I also found that if I quilt a curvy vein, I never have to worry about the same number of feathers being on the top right. and the bottom. So that kind of gives me a little yeah. bit of an edge. I'm going to sneak my way back here. This first one that I'm going to show you I call a machete feather. Oh, that's again that's from a, the farming, mm -hmm, having to mm -hmm. walk beans. Did any of you mm -hmm. ever have to walk beans? I did that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, get the machete, whack the yep. old cockleburs. Mm -hmm. Definitely a thing that I don't want to have to remember. No. Keep quilting so you don't have to do that. There we go. See if this oh, looks like a machete. Sure. Oh. Well, it could be pretty on a holiday quilt yeah. too because it almost sure. looks like holly leaves. Yeah. It could. A couple more little jig jags in there and you'd have holly leaves. That's right. Now if I change that little design ever so slightly, it's amazing how you can add just one little thing and really change the way the design looks. What would happen if I put a loop and then the arch? Hmm, that's just cool. something different. And every stitch is the same length. Yes, look how stitch regulator. Look how sharp that point mm -hmm. is. It really fires a point right when I want to change direction, so you aren't okay. going to see any round off there. I love to quilt feathers from the bottom of the feather up. I'm not very good at coming backwards, mm -hmm. so I'm going to cheat a little bit and work my way back down again. Kind of make a triple center vein. So there you part go. Part of the design. That's right. That's mm -hmm. If you do it enough times when you make that. a mistake, it's mm -hmm. part of the design. Mm -hmm. I plan that. That's mm -hmm. right. This is one that you were just, just discussing that might look like a holly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I just designed something. Yeah. Is that that cool? It's a cool. That a girl. Look I'm throwing that. in lots of different oh, ideas for you fun. here simply by changing small things. You know, I think one of the things is at first your reaction is that it might be easiest to follow a pattern. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. actually, freehand quilting is, is really in some ways much easier yeah. than it is to try to follow a design. Yeah. I think so. I love to do freehand designs, but you can also control the mm -hmm. machine if you really want to right. follow a pattern. There are many ways that yeah, you can. You have to control it to do freehand yeah. designs yeah, yeah, well, yeah. too. But, but trying to hit a line, and then, you know, the great thing about, I think about freehand is you're not marking anything. You know, it's no. just that, that, you know, nobody, no quilter gets up in the morning and think, oh boy, today I'm going to mark my quilting designs, you know, yeah, and, and yeah. testing it all and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So oh, that, that's Exactly. That's one of, to me, that is another free freedom mm -hmm. of freehand, mm -hmm. is that you don't, that there's so many ways you can get the design on there and you get right to it. You do. I think that's the problem with marking. It's like you're already, your top is done. Mm -hmm. And then you have this delayed pleasure because you have to mark all this stuff. So, I mean, this, you get right on it. You do. You have the freedom to create. And uh, as I said before, if I happen to make a mistake, oh, let's say, shoot, I put three loops on that little guy. It's now variation. That's right. If I just do a couple of more with three loops, well, heck. He looks like he belongs. He looks like he belongs. Exactly. Well, these funky feathers can have some things that go on in between them. We can have fun with some hooks, yeah. adding some duplications. I'm going to add a little more vein line here, sneak my way back down. Maybe I want to do something on the inside of that feather. I like this design. Notice that I can really take my time and stop exactly right. where I want to with that stitch regulator turned you know, on. I think that's something that you find when you first get started. You, you can remember with the stitch regulator, you can stop and yeah. think. Well, and if I did want to take that pause, if I definitely had to, the kids were hollering, please make a supper or yes, we're going to yeah. faint, yeah. I can cancel that automatic stitch regulator and drop the needle down so that it keeps me in mm -hmm. position. When I come back on and turn it on again, it'll start off exactly where I ended. Yeah. Good tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good mm -hmm. tip. Are there some quilts that you'd like to see? I brought some along. I'd love yes. to see please your Please show us your work. I brought two with me today. Both of them show traditional style feathers as well as some funky feathers. The quilt that you see that's yellow and white was designed for a family, a mother of six, whose sister died, and she took in her sister's six children. Oh, so the house is built for a family of 12. So I yeah. call that yellow quilt family nucleus. You'll find that the star in the center represents the family together and the small stars and larger stars around it. 
the family of all 12 joined together, and lastly, the four pillars of stars in the corner represent the four churches who got oh. together to build it. Awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That's great. I used some really fun gadgets that you're, you can find with your APQS quilting machine. One called a Hartley fence makes perfect oh, yes. circles. We mm -hmm. know about the Hartley yeah. fence, yes. I use that to make no the marking. interiors. No, no marking. marking. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, and perfect circles, mm -hmm. which is really great. Yeah. From that, I drew on some stem lines and created some uh, regular feathers and used the same ruler that you mentioned, Marianne, mm -hmm. to quilt the straight guide. lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then another quilt that I brought along for you to see was made by Sharon Meisenheimer, a quilter in Johnston, Iowa. And Sharon made that pattern from a, a Pat Campbell design. Yes, Jacobian applique. Jacobian yes. applique, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, her setting left lots of open space in between, and I had a blast quilting all sorts of designs like these funky feathers inside those quilting areas. And the great thing is with those adjustable handles, I could get control and get in and out of every those single bit spaces. of those applique yeah. pedals. Oh, yes. Without stitching on them. Without stitching on them. Exactly. Wow. It's one of those things that you find that the inspiration strikes you and you can have a great time. I think we should applaud her quilts. Yep. They're beautiful. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us today. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much fun. So much. I hope you learned something new. Oh, Have a great time. Yeah. Get that quilt mailed off to your daughter. Oh, yes, it's going out today. All right. It's got to get there. It's got to get to New York. Thank you. Great. Bye. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.